The live commentary may not reflect this rating. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everybody, it's Clone Clux999. Welcome back, more Metroid. In the last episode, we journeyed to Norfair and we got the we got the high jump boots and a couple of missile tanks that were in here. Actually, I don't think we got them quite yet. All right, we're back. There are some uh some a uh, uh, there are some missile tanks that we can get in Norfair right now. In retrospect, maybe it would have been better if I went and got them. But there's this, um, useful, ow, there's this useful, um, item that I would recommend you have before doing that, I guess. I don't know, it just might be an idea. And our, and, laugh, we die, like, right when we start. No, get out of that. What, wow, one hit and we're dead. Get that, please. Thank goodness that was a 20. Okay. <laughs> Alright, um, Rocky, Rocky Star, whatever, um. I don't know. It's been a while since the uh, since the uh, been a while since the last episode. I actually didn't record a, record a, a bunch of uh, Metroid videos for a while because um, I was having some frame skipping issues, and uh, I just and I just didn't want to record again because well, I didn't want to do like the very same thing like immediately after. Also, why am I not using my missiles on these guys? There you go. Whoa. Okay, that was a cool dodge there. Okay. Um. <laughs> that was oh my goodness okay uh so what you want to do next is uh now that we have the uh the uh, ice beam there is a useful item that we can get that i would recommend you have make sure you're, of course you have at least five missiles before going there ow geez i am really off to a rocky star here with the start of this video but you know what it's fine so, what you want to do is you want to go through the area where you got your first energy tank, and where you, where, in the direction of where you got the bombs, or at least I think that's what it is. The bombs are the one thing in Metroid 1 that I can always never seem to exactly remember. Anyways, to avoid having uh, frame skipping issues, uh, if possible, I'm going to try uh, taking a look at the video um, after I'm finished recording it. Okay, we just, let me just take these guys out first because they might drop health. Health that we also need. Ooh, and missiles we also need. Alright, so. Actually, the blue one's probably not worth it to take out unless maybe you're using a missile on it like I am. There you go. Okay, so, oh wow, uh, ooh, that was a, okay, nice shot, yeah. Alright, I want to take this guy out so we can get, uh, energy, there you go. Now, there is an area you can, uh, bomb out right around here somewhere. Okay, well. I'll worry about it in a bit, but uh, that's not where you want to go. Where you want you want to go a little bit further to uh, get what we're looking for, and what we're looking for is going to be extremely helpful, and it's also going to be required to access uh, certain certain areas of the game. I can't believe we cut it that close, um, and had like literally one energy a second ago. That was that was probably my one of my ballsiest moves yet, and that and we had some pretty good dodging at the end of that. Oh, lock out. Ah. Okay, so you want to go in here. And then you want to bomb one of these blocks. I believe it is this one. Yes, you want to... <laughs> You want to go through here and check it out. The, la the acid is fake. Ow. Oh, jeez, beat this thing quick. Actually, I don't really need to beat it. Also, I couldn't. I couldn't even see my shots there. So, what you want to do is you want to 
want to head down here. And we have these things that are going to hit you right when you get in. Cheap shot. You have one of that thing up there that I'm going to use a missile on, but make sure you have at least five missiles before. Because we have a red door here, and this, of course, takes five missiles to blast through. And in here, we have this item. This is the Ice Beam. The Ice Beam will, um, let, will, uh, shoot, uh, okay, hold on. Before we go, let's see what's over here. Well, there's something over there. The ice beam allows you to uh, fire, um, to a fire, uh, chilling, chi a chilling, uh, be beams, which you can, be you can freeze enemies and use them to walk on. Unfortunately, the enemies will uh, take uh, twice as many hits to a defeat. The first shot freezes them, the second shot does damage to them. Although with these enemies, they die pretty much no matter what you do to them. So yeah, while the ice beam, it, the ice beam is a lot more useful than it seems, though, because while it, like I said, it does, it does make the enemies take more hits, freezing them in to make to make make them walk, walk, walkable, walk onable, is extremely helpful. So you definitely want to have that. Now the reason I wanted to wait until we got the high jump to go up here is because if you got the normal type jump, if you didn't have the jump, you wouldn't be able to jump high enough to get out of here. What you'd have to do is you have to uh, wait, stand here and wait for the thing to respawn jump right when it's about to respawn and then let yourself get hurt on it so you you'd uh you'd uh, bounce back up here and uh that's a little bit trickier to do than it seems so i am not going to bother with that now the problem the other problem with the ice beam at least that i have is that sometimes i sometimes when i fire my beam i accidentally hit it hit it twice when they only need to hit it once and it causes the a second shot to uh, unfreeze the enemy, and it causes problems sometimes. Forget all of this thing. And, wow, I fail at killing enemies. Anyway, I wanted to show what was down here. Because, uh, because we bombed one of these out could show that there is a way we can go down here. I would not recommend you go down here though because um if you go down here it's kind of hard to get up. Cuz you jump down here, um I think I miscolored the blocks by accident. The way you get up is by is by breaking these blocks and then uh using and then uh jumping up to them. But that's a little bit harder to do than it seems and so I would so what I would recommend you do is you just use these enemies to um, these rippers to um, jump on and then uh, and then uh, oh come on see what I mean it's it's way more annoying, annoying to get up here here than it is and there's nothing down here so there's not any reason to come down here but you know this was made in the days where in video games you just had to explore. See, I bumped my head on I bumped my head on the I bumped my head on the block and now I gotta do this again. Okay, now jump up <sighs> You know what? I'm not normally one to abuse this feature, but I don't wanna but I don't wanna sit here trying to get back up, so I'm just gonna so I'm just going to use the password system. One of the only times in the one of the only times in the game where I'm actually going to use it to like warp around Rinstar or warp around Zebes and get my voice stop cracking. I say as I slap my throat, which probably isn't helping it. Okay. Now it's a good thing we got the ice beam because um because there actually is something waiting for us if we go a little bit further. Well, I'm not probably, probably not going to actually get this yet, and you'll see, you'll see why in a second. Damn it! First, pick up those jerks. 
Oh, they drop missiles. I needed those. Now, you might remember I showed this before, but if I shoot the ceiling up here, or actually, it's right here, there is an energy tank up there, and even with the high jump, we still can't quite get up to it. So what are you supposed to do? Well, what you want to do is you want to, uh, go back through here, go through here, and then roll back in, and you want to, uh, let the, and you want to bring this enemy out, get close to it, and then fire the ice beam at it, and then, and shoot it up there, and then you can jump up to it. However... Even though this is about the time you are supposed to get it, I'm actually not going to get it quite yet, and you'll see why later. Trust me. I think this will make if you don't if you don't get this energy tank now, I think it'll actually make your life a heck of a lot easier during the finale of the game. You'll see later, alright? So, um Next what we wanna do is we want to go is we wanna go into this area. Or actually. You want to go in this area? You want to go up the, go up to the first door we see. I guess I'll I guess I'll meet you guys there. Now now that you've done that, you want to uh, you want to go through here, go into the orange section, and you want to go all the way to the top, as Ati says from over the head. I like that movie. I I think I might have told this told this uh, story in a recent Minecraft video, but one of my one uh, childhood memory I have is uh, times when I would uh. When I would stay at my uh, at my my Grammys, and um, and uh, we had a uh, we had a few movies there, and um, and whenever I would stay there dur during the night overnight, we would always watch. We would always first watch over the uh, watch flushed away, and after that we would watch over the hedge. It was pretty. It was pretty nice. And uh, Grammy even says to this day that flushed away is her favorite movie. And I can't say I blame her. Flushed Away is a is a cool thing, you know. It was before I don't want to say before DreamWorks got bad. But I feel like the pro a lot of problems I have with DreamWorks movies is the fact that I feel like they just have a lot of death in them, or just a lot of I don't know. Just it's I don't know what it is, but like. Maybe somebody can shed some light on it in the comments that I just can't figure out. So now in here we're in this green air, this green section, and I know I'm grinding a lot on enemies, but trust me, uh, when, once we get this item here, you're not going to need to grind nearly as much as I am doing right now, at least for energy. Once you get a lot of missile tanks, you won't need to uh, grind for missiles so much. So what we want to do is we want to head through here, and I believe it is the top, the top. The top path we want to go through. Not top paths, dot top path. We ain't playing Henry Stickman here. Speaking of which, I really gotta do a let's play of uh, the six game on Steam. And there you go. And there's zoomers in there that you want to use your bombs on. I keep calling them power bombs by accident. They're not power bombs. That's a different thing. That's not in this game. They're the morph bombs. Oh yeah, Use the bombs. The bombs seem to be like a little bit more powerful than the power than the power beam almost. Now in here, oh whoa! <laughs> there you go. Now in here, I believe is where you want to go. There's a ripper down there, but I don't think there's any possible way to get down there. What you want to do is you want to shoot this block, and then wait, one, two, three, four, five, jump. There you go. This can be, that can be a little tricky to do. Now, you need the high, now you need the high jump to get to this. You want to stand on the edge of this block right here, and jump here, and, oh well. Uh, you might, maybe you need to open the door first, or maybe you just need to flip. I think you do go slightly higher if you flip, so, uh, so that might attribute to that. Oh. Now 
There's gonna be a red door coming up, so be sparing with your missiles if you don't, if you're if you're low on them. But actually, uh, you don't you won't really need to uh, grind on energy very much anymore because we head through this door. This is the various suit. What does it do? It, t it makes us take half damage. Yeah, the various suit increases our defense. Over here, there's nothing. But, uh... Yeah, in this game, however, the various suit is not required in the slightest. The, uh... All it does is just increase your defense. If you want to, do a th if you want to go through the game with the power suit and make it a little bit harder on yourself, well... That's on you. You can do that if you want. I'm just personally not going to. And I like how you turn purple when you uh, use your missiles because of pet color palette limitations. Ah, uh, such is the nature of the Nintendo Entertainment System. Now the bar now the various suit, believe it or not, was actually not supposed to be called the various suit. I think it was supposed to be called the barrier suit, but due to translation error, it ended up being called the various suit, which is cool because you know I, th I like the name uh, Varia a little better than just simple than just simple barrier. Because then it will be confu confused with Mr. Mime from Pokemon. Okay. So yeah, we can take a lot less damage now with this. I could use a little. I could use a few more missiles though, so I can. So I'm gonna beat these guys in hopes of getting them. I really hope I'm not having frame skips either. If I am, I'm gonna be royally upset. Especially considering I was having issues with my uh, with my uh, with my technology a little bit ago. And I was, and I kept telling myself I should not recording, I should not record if I'm get when I'm frustrated. But uh, but uh, I think I've actually been doing quite a good job uh, holding in my anger. And there you go, we get a missile tank, and that is one of the only two missile tanks in a uh, in Brinstar. All the rest are in Norfair and the other places. Okay. So this area seems like a dead end, but what you want to do is you want to uh, shoot up here, and then jump in here. Now this, now this area might be, now this part may be uh, tricky. What you have to do is, um, is you want to shoot the walls, and you can see the this is going going through the wall. Now you can't go into the morph ball in midair, and when you bomb up here, it doesn't quite go high enough. So what you want to do is you want to lay a couple bombs down. And, or, or actually, I think I'm going to lay a couple bombs down here. Okay, yeah. Lay a couple bombs. Uh, go to uh, go to the side of it so you can propel uh, 45 at four, 45 degrees, and then you'll uh, go through here. It may take a little bit of practice, but that is basically how "quote unquote" bomb jumping works in this game. And here we go. We have our next energy tank, giving giving us 299 health. So now we have a total of 20 missiles and 299 health. Oh, jeez. Oh. Ah, okay. No. Hey, I had my missiles out. Okay, whatever. And now, believe it or not, the various suit actually isn't even the best item in this game. But we'll get into that when we get into that, which will probably be next episode. And then can my voice stop cracking, please? I'm 21 years old. I should be finished with my growth spurt. Actually, I think that, actually, I think you finish your growth spurt when you're 25 because, according to my re what I looked up a couple years ago, when you uh, your brain beca finally becomes fully grown when you're 25 years, years old. So that's the end of your growth spurt, at least I think. Okay, oops. Um, so next, you want to hop down here, and presumably with the ice beam, you can get back up there, but it's a little bit difficult. But I think with the ice beam you can uh, get back up. You just, but but it's you just gotta wait for the, these green guys to cooperate. Oh, yeah, you can get back up here. Okay, you just need the ice beam. Uh, freezing enemies with ice beam and uh, getting up here is by the way where you get the is where you get the morph bomb. Freezing enemies with the ice beam and. Um, and uh, using them as platforms to get up to higher areas is a little bit trickier to do in this game than it is in later games, but I'm not going to be comparing this game to the aim to later games like uh, like everyone else does, because, you know, I hate I always hate it when people play Grand Theft Auto 1 and they're always like, oh, but Grand Theft Auto 5 has this. And, uh, 
Yeah, I always hate it when that happens. Like, despite being rated, despite being known for being rated M for mature, the Grand Theft Auto community is very immature. But with that, guys, I think um, I think is where we're gonna we're going to uh, stop the video. And actually, actually no, I'm not gonna stop the video yet. I'm going to uh, well, then again, I don't really have any conversation topics, so I could just say that I'll stop the video here, and I'll re I'll start the next video at the beginning of Norfair. Does that sound good to you guys? I guess it does. The door just shut right on me. This is a hatch, actually. It's not really a door. It's, it's a, a bubble thing. It honestly, honestly it looks a lot more like a bubble in this game than uh, in later games. So I kind of like the look of the doors in this game a little better than the uh, than the later games. But that's just me, personally. Um, but now, I actually think yeah, I, we will end the video off here. Next time on Metroid, or, uh, actually, you know what, how about I meet you guys at the end, at the beginning of Norfair right now, and then, and I'll resume, and I'll resume in the next episode, um, and I'll resume, uh, when we, when we get there, and I'll end the video here, and I'll, sh and I'll show the password for uh, getting back to Norfair. So, I'll meet you guys, I'll meet you guys there. The good thing about the ice beam is that you don't necessarily need to defeat the enemies. You can just kind of freeze them and go. So, uh, so yeah, that that is the one thing the ice beam has uh, going for it, even if it's not as powerful. I'd say it balances out with the power beam. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. I would have laughed if I let that thing get away. All right, now, here at the entrance to, uh, Norfair, we head down here. Um, wow, what a finale. Alright, we're gonna stop the video here. Next time on Metroid, we're gonna journey through Norfair, and we're going to get all of the missile tanks and upgrades that are in here. See you guys then. Goodbye. <laughs> you got woo and woo.